Cheers. 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 What up, guys? Beer Buzz here with the uh, Stir Starter Stir Plate. That's right in front of us. That's right. Stirstarter.com. Uh, stir plates are used for yeast starters. What you, tell us a little bit about Cody. You know what's going on. So for home brewing, getting your yeast to the right quantity is absolutely essential. You don't have off flavors. You get earlier fermentation. It's just critical. And this device will allow you to get into it. A couple days before you brew, throw your yeast in there, yeah. a little bit of DME. And for what, three or four days? Yeah, it's, have it's, a big setup. it's not bad. You should take about 1,500 uh, milliliters of water right now. Metric. Scary. Um, do that. Do about a half cup of some light DME, something like Pilsner Malt. Um, something really, really light. Boil it like you would. You're going to make a batch. Cool it down. Put it in. Put your yeast. And just let it sit. And basically what it does, it gets that, those active cells just open, blooming. Usually doubles your cells. Um, if you go ahead and use Beer Smith, love Beer Smith. Yeah. You can calculate how many uh, active cultures you'll have. I mean, right around. Um, but it's really good. Like you were saying, the off flavors, you'll get less off flavors. I mean, honestly, when I when I do yeast starters and I do them almost every batch, it, it literally starts fermenting in a couple hours. So. Do you guys clean your yeast at all? Like, you reuse it ever? I don't reuse. Okay. I, I I've tried it before. It just it's hard without having all the equipment. It takes a lot of work. Yeah, I've salvaged once from a can of heady topper yeah. and it worked. Yeah, but uh, now you can buy a knockoff brand of that yeast. So <laughs> how do you guys? Yeah. Uh, how do you close your yeast starter up when you actually? Put up oil. airlock. Boil. I do boil today. Yeah. All right. Start sand. Start we'll start sand, sand. And boil. Put it right on top. Yeah. Um, um, airlock is just a little too much. Yeah. And actually, with a yeast starter, you want the growth phase of the yeast, so you actually want it to be growing. Growing is going to need oxygen, so you want yeah. oxygen coming in. Correct. So that's why we don't put in a, a actual airlock. Just use aluminum foil right on top. Of it. Technically, it's still pre-fermentation, even though you are fermenting. Yeah. Technically, by building yeast and feeding them with nutrients, you're not actually. In the process of, of contaminating your beer, oxygenating it, so it's totally fine. They're not going to get any off flavors pre fermentation. Yeah. Well, one piece of advice I have is the night before you actually brew, crash it. take it off, yeah. cold crash it in your fridge. Yeah, you'll get in a good fridge, separation. Several good, uh, good amount of hours. I want to say I do at least 12 hours. Yeah. So I'll let it do 36 plus to sit there in the yeast starter. Then I dump it in the fridge. Not dump it, but put it in the fridge for about 12 hours. You'll set it separate, but uh, see it separate. Yeah. Dump out a good chunk of that just you know nasty wort base is what it is. Yeah. Um, and then you get that little yeast cake with a little bit of the beer left. I put it back up before I start brewing. Because right. by the time I'm ready to pitch my yeast, it's nice. It's foaming. It's about room temperature. Yeah. Well, yeah. What you, want it. you get yeah. right to the Krause point. And you yeah. Pitch it right in your yeah. car. Really now, good, man. Now, this particular stir plate, um, how do you guys feel about the design? I, I mean, I, we both of us, I think we all talked right. about it. It's a little, little, it's a little tall, small. A little mm -hmm. tall and a little, uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, well, narrow. Because narrow, yeah. 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 the ones that I... One that I, I built actually comes out far enough where you can fit this exact Erlenmeyer flask on top of it, and yeah. it sits fully. But right. it seems stable. I mean, I we're, not, see, yeah. we're not moving. I've, uh, uh, I've actually used this tons of times. I have this for a couple months already. And, um, you know, my only complaint, I'd like to see it a little larger. I mean, but realistically, it doesn't affect functionality It's more of a mental concern on your Yeah, yeah. It's like, oh, that's it's just not... Yeah. yeah. It's perfect. It's, it's not, not moving. moving. Yeah. yeah. It's, not it's, not moving. it's just a mental... Yeah. But it's uh, 2,000, 2,000 uh, milliliters. I mean, it's it's perfect. That's the max for this bottle. Yeah, you're not going to want to put anything better than that. Yeah. And 2,000 is good for everything up to about a 10 to 15 gallon batch. Anything more than that, you're going to need something bigger. But this yeah. is what most home brewers are You need two. <laughs> <laughs> that would still be less than yeah. the full price of a regular one, right? Yeah, it that's will. actually two. Because uh, if you go, like I know morebeer.com has their lowest one for 100 bucks. Yeah, so you get um, two of these. Yeah, the guy that <laughs> makes these, I think he actually makes it himself. Yep. And it's pretty neat. They're 45 bucks. It's a lot cheaper than going out there and buying a... Like, given those, those look more professional. They look a lot nicer. Right. But, uh, I mean, you're just making these. Give yeah. this guy a few bucks, dude. I bet yeah. you'll have uh, you some, you know, some pretty different ones. You know, yeah. even at 45 bucks a piece, though, oh, for after right. five or six matches yeah. where you're not buying your second How much did it cost you to, to do yours? Uh, in materials, it was cheap because I actually salvaged a bunch of them. Okay. In time? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Effort, so man, but yeah, yeah. Awful. so like forty five bucks really yeah. is a little. I mean, yeah. realistic, you're spending what, like twenty bucks on material. I'm the type to always throw more money. If you're like, yeah, yeah, if you're going to do it, I would invest like uh, you know like two vials of yeast maybe for a ten gallon batch, right? Sure. Yeah. If I, I get, get a one and bucks. I do a, a starter, I'm going to end up basically with the same as uh, two vials. I would if say. not more, yeah, if not absolutely. more, exactly. Yep. So and it's ready to get. So I'm actually getting the value in it. So so in a couple of the brews, you're actually paying it off, and your yeast is ready to go. That's the big part too. Your yeast yeah. is ready to go when you pitch. 
when you get those little white labs or the snack packs, they're yeah. just getting started. They're you're just, just waiting. Them up. It's like in the morning when you're like, oh, uh, <laughs> how's that again? Yeah. How's that? Man, this day, what's gonna happen? You're doing that to yeast, dude. Yeah. You get them started, you throw like a little pre party with hors d'oeuvres, you know, and then you throw them into the main course, dude, which is the what actual is plate. Right? Absolutely. Notice you, uh, his kid only comes with the actual plate itself, doesn't come with the actual, uh, the Elmar flask. Yeah, I picked this up for about 15 bucks on Amazon. Um, I actually upgraded the, uh, what's that, the little pill guy? Stir bar. The stir bar. I upgraded that one to the bigger one. Get a bigger yeah. one. The little ones work. That size, and this is uh, the, kid actually, yeah. right here, the, the kit itself actually comes with that little that stir bar and the plate. You can you can use that. Just upgrade um, for what, like five or six bucks. It's the upgrade, yeah. It ends up being five bucks for a bigger bar, and then uh, yeah. again ten fifteen dollars for the giant. I've even glass. seen people using regular glasses. Oh yeah, okay. Okay. It's, 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 you, you don't need a picture of that stuff. Yeah. Anything you don't need this. It looks nicer. It's fancy. I like to make it look fancy. Yeah, so it's 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 <laughs> exactly. yeah. yeah, you still want it to, to crack. Uh, I mean, I can actually take this, put this straight on the electric stove. And, and I'm good, it'll boil, and then I just literally just pull it off. So, it kind of depends how easy you want to make things. So, yep. so stirplate.com? Stir, uh, stir starters. Stir, stir, stir starters. Stir starters. Stirstarters.com. Um, right. Check them out, Tom Virba sent you. Definitely yep. get sealed brew for me. All right, All right. dude. Well, yeah. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Guys. cheers.